morning. Uh, I'm Tad Schechter, I'm the chief engineer uh, of the Corvette. I've uh, been working on Corvettes for 20 years and uh, never been prouder than uh, now bringing out uh, this new Stingray. I mentioned aerodynamics. Um, a lot of people use the term race inspired. Uh, race inspired doesn't mean anything. I mean, that just means I saw a race and I was inspired to go do something, right? We use the actual race technology and techniques it's transferred straight uh, from the track uh, right onto the street. So you can see the visual functional elements of the car. Um, I mentioned the challenge, the design challenge we had on doing a car with essentially carryover proportions. By using the race techniques, we got a car that looks quite a bit different, even though the proportions are very similar. So starting at the front, we have a forward tilted radiator. Uh, most serious race cars do it that way. You exit the hot air up over the top of the car. It pins the nose down, good downforce on the front end. Very common on race cars, almost unheard of uh, on street cars, uh, but that vent that uh, on the hood is fully functional. And even the louvers are uh, designed to enhance that flow. Each of those elements is canted at a slightly different angle. So a uh, synthesis of design and engineering to create a beautiful execution that maximizes the functionality of that vent. Uh, all the other vents are functional. Uh, if you look at the rear quarter panels, uh, we have a transmission and differential cooler. So on one side of the car is trans cooling, on the other side is diff cooling. Just like the race car, on the race car you'll see a NACA duct uh, right in that location. Uh, we couldn't really just use an open hole NACA duct on a production street car. The race car doesn't care if debris and things get in there, you know, after the race they just clean that out. Uh, but for a street car, uh, you don't want to have to disassemble the car uh, each time it gets a little bit dirty. Uh, so we had to come up with a very highly engineered, uh, again, it's a synthesis of design and engineering to create something that's beautiful and very functional uh, to get the cooling flow. Uh, if you look at the picture here, uh, that's not an artist's rendition of the flow. That's actually the computational fluid dynamic output uh, from the same uh, modeling techniques, the same software that Pratt and Miller uses uh, on the race car and helped us synthesize uh, the functionality. So the top picture shows the front uh, flow. The bottom picture shows where the air comes from uh, to get into that rear vent. You see it snakes over the hood, through the deep grooves we have in the hood, between the mirror and the A pillar, and into the, the vent at the rear. And then we have the functional uh, vents on the rear fascia at the lowest pressure point on the back end to help vacuum that uh, warm air out of the back of the car. So extremely uh, good for uh, drag and downforce, and that's why the race car uses it, that's why we use it, it keeps all the hardware in the back of the car, helps us for weight distribution, uh, so it's really nice aesthetic and functional solution.